Hey guys, I'm Jasmine. And I'm Marcella. And we just got back from the movies. We just saw Kingsman the Golden Circle and oh, it was so good. It was awesome. It was fantastic. It was a great movie. Oh my gosh. If you've never seen Kingsman, you have to go check it out. It's such a great, like, do all. I think it's going to be a trilogy, but. Yeah, I think there's going to be another one. I think there's going to be another one. But the first one's really good, and the second one was great. We really, really loved it. It's a lot of fun. It's and we, we had just watched the first one yesterday. Yeah, we. So it was yeah. really cool to watch the first one yesterday and then go and see this one today. Yeah, we definitely think that you should watch the first one mm -hmm. before seeing this one. Just because the first one gives you a lot of background information on the characters and it really introduces you to the world. Yeah, I would definitely see the yeah. first I mean, you would be able to pay attention to the plot and know what's going on if you don't yeah. see the first one, but. Just, yeah, that way you know the characters and you know, like, what's yeah. going on, like, more of, like, I think what's going on. what's going, there's two separate stories for sure. Like, after the first one, it's really, it, it had it, a conclusion. Yeah. But the characters, the characters you want to get to know them before you actually see the second one because yeah. there's some things that come back that you want to know. Like, oh, yeah. I remember that, you know? So, yeah, yeah, definitely check out the first one if you have it. It's and, so good. Yeah. It's really great. It's a really great story, and the characters are perfect. They're so complex, but, like, witty and fun mm -hmm. and... And like great soundtracks. These movies, so the soundtracks are incredible. Love really, the really good. Yeah, really like, yeah. The the soundtracks are phenomenal, and the action sequences are like so they're real, well done. They're, they're just very, so perfectly, they're very like, different too. Yeah, they, like you were saying in the car, how it kind of like it, were you saying how it like slows down at certain parts to like yeah. emphasize like different like things in the action sequence. And, yeah, but it, it's also kind of like all over the place in that way like it shows the shots from different angles mm -hmm. like it's not like one straight shot and then it's like the action like it really like brings the viewer into the action sequence if you yeah. know what I mean like it's mm -hmm. really really cool and it has amazing music playing in the background it's just it is a really great movie and the guy yeah. is gorgeous <laughs> in it he's pretty hot so <laughs> That's a bonus. And yeah. in this one, Channing Tatum's in it if you don't know. And so it was Halle Berry. Mm -hmm. And Colin Ford is in it if you don't know him. He's from Love Actually and Bridget Jones Diary. Just, it's a really great cast. And, yeah, for um, sure. yeah, it's a really great movie. So definitely go check it out. I think <laughs> rating wise, I would definitely give, I would give this, it five like, stars. I would give it five stars and yeah. probably. I would give it like a good A. Like, it was like. I a, would give it like an, an A, A plus. Yeah, it was in a between really there, great it was, movie. I thought it was awesome. Yeah, it was phenomenal. It, Definitely go watch it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> go watch it and then you can come back because then we're going to go yes! into some spoilers. And yeah, so go watch it and then you can come back and we can talk it all out with you. Okay, so now we got to talk about the movie. Started that off with this really cool. The car. Yeah, we started off with this really cool sequence in the car. And of with course we had we had like amazing music playing right away. Yeah. And yeah, that was really cool. And we had um we found out Charlie that came Charlie back. Yeah, Charlie is our bad guy and I like that they did that because yeah. he was kind of bad at the end of the first one, right? Yeah. Right? Mm hmm Yeah, he he had a lot of issues, that kid, so he was, had a lot of resentment yeah. for being kicked out and exactly all of that. The beginning with the whole taxi sequence when he's like hanging out of the the door and then he's behind the car and then the other car comes and he quickly goes into the yeah. trunk that was so cool and then, and then he gives his knife and he like cuts out of the trunk and like yeah. comes into the yeah. yeah, and that then, was really like crazy. And then all the other cars came and were chasing him, and then ultimately he ended up in the water, and that was really cool. And I, I love that when oh my gosh, yeah. when he like went in the water and he had to hold his breath, and the car pretty much started like like I love all of the technology it's in these so movies awesome. because they're, it's so futuristic and just so yeah. cool, like the gadgets that they have. I know it's so, it's awesome. so high tech. And like the umbrella, yeah. I think the umbrella is my favorite. That's the coolest because yeah. that's so British. It is so, very British. It's very cool. I like the glasses though too, because you get like, oh yeah, like the spy glasses. Yeah, yeah, like we got that scene when he was sitting there with um with the princess and her parents, and he's like getting like the inside mm -hmm. information from his friend. Oh yeah, that was <laughs> that really was funny. Really and then he started clever. yelling. Yeah, he started yelling, and they, and they yeah. were like, "What?" <laughs> yeah, how funny was it that the princess came back? I thought that she I was, was just gonna be like. Uh, kind of like a hookup for him. I thought that was just a yeah. fun way for them to end the. First I like that though. I like. But I really like yeah, that. I yeah. like that it turned into a relationship, and yeah, it was a very serious relationship. It was. They ended up married. It yeah. was great. Yeah, and he was very serious about her, which we saw when he was with um that other girl when they were in Glasgow, and he mm -hmm. was like. 
He's like, I, I can't do this he without goes, talking to he you. He goes to the back and he calls her on FaceTime and he's just like, listen, like, I need to do this for a minute. It's just for a mission, but I need your permission. Like, you need to tell me it's okay. It's so funny. And, yeah, that was, that was yeah. really funny. But that shows, like, they really, like, they genuinely fell in love with each other. And I did love that. I really loved, I really did enjoy their love story. That was really cute. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, I, I enjoyed I thought, the whole plot of it all with the drugs. Yeah. The I drugs, thought the plot yeah. was, was really well done. It wasn't overdone. It wasn't something that we've really seen before. Yeah, no, it was really cool. The villain, Poppy, with Julian Moore, she, <laughs> she was psycho. I can't Crazy. believe she blew up everything. I was shocked. I didn't know that because I didn't really know much I going know. into this movie about the plot. I didn't know that it, they were going to kill so many people. Yeah, off. that was a lot of Like yeah. his dog, JB. That know, was really was sad, really but sad. I love how he got another dog. <laughs> he did, that was okay. <laughs> she was a great villain, I thought. I thought she was really psychotic. Like, that scene in the very beginning when she's got the guy there and she <laughs> makes him into a burger. Oh, like, oh, and then she makes the other guy eat it. It oh, was just like... Oh, 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 oh. She had psychological issues. She was crazy. But it made her very interesting and it made her yeah. very, like cool to watch because you know she's crazy so it's like oh god what is she gonna do next yeah i mean yeah exactly you never knew what to expect with her i love that she kidnapped elton john <laughs> elton john was, he was the highlight perfect. of this movie oh my god he was hilarious so and funny. oh i just i loved the scene <laughs> with them because you could just picture like this crazy fangirl who goes like out of her mind and then she decides to kidnap her favorite artist and make him force him to play music for her constantly. just playing good, like, this great music during these action sequences. Just, <laughs> well done. I loved that. Yeah, that was great. I thought it was just so comical. And, and, and his outfit. Yeah, his <laughs> outfit with, like, the color and the yeah. sunglasses. <laughs> He had a really oh big part God. in this movie too. He ended up fighting pretty much with like the whole the whole thing with the dogs. It was like Elton John and the dogs registered that was their friend. friend. So Elton like, John friend. He said, get behind me, they can't hurt me. That was great. <laughs> I love that. We had that really emotional scene with Merlin when he dies and that was probably oh, my least favorite part of the movie. So I mean devastating. It was really like it really like Oh, and he's singing there was the just song. So, yeah, that oh. was so emotional. I was so sad. I don't think I can hear that song without thinking of that scene yeah, now. Like, it, was that very, was it was very dragged out. Yeah. It, was, it was really like... Really it was sad. a beautiful scene, but it was it really was. it was really sad. He went out in a really exactly. great way. Like, it was heroic, very heroic. Yeah. And you know, Harry says to him it was an honor. Like It was just really so devastating and heartbreaking to watch. And that moment when it really explodes, it was like... Oh, yeah. Like, in the very beginning, we get Eggsy mourning Harry, and it's really sad, and you know, you see Mr. Pickles there, and I, you got a flashback, so I'm like, okay, so they're gonna be showing him through flashbacks, and, but no, they really brought him back. At I, first... I I was a little iffy on the way they brought him back because he got shot in the head. That's what it looked like. Yeah, I was like, oh, come on. How are they going to explain How are they really going to explain that? But it was that? pretty cool, actually. The way that they, like, have that thing that, like, goes different. goes on your head and, like, kind of just... It was very futuristic. And it, and it is a futuristic movie in the sense of their gadgets and their technology. Exactly. So it made sense of why they were able to do it. But at first I was like, eh. And then as it really... You got it, you're sucked into this world and you see all the technology that they're using and it makes sense. Mm. So so Plus, cool. we were happy to have him back because exactly. he meant so much to XZ, so that was really nice. Exactly. I really did enjoy seeing him be back with all of them and working together. And then mm -hmm. at the end, you see the three of them, and then Merlin dies. But I love oh. the way that he brought him back when he yeah. brought the, he brought the puppy who looked like Mr. Oh, Pickle and, and was, had the gun. That was really intense. And it was like the first one. Yeah, I think that yeah. that. That was really well done because if it had worked, like when they originally tried to bring him back with the whole drowning thing, it wouldn't have had as much. Yeah, like, it would have been like okay, like they, they brought him back on the first try, like really. But I, yeah. I like that he was the one who did it, Eggsy, because he knew what would get to him yeah. and what would really. Because the whole that was a really big part of the first movie. The whole it thing with was. The, that was a really big part. That yeah. was the main. That was the reason why he got kicked out initially. Yeah. So yeah, I love that they did that. Yeah, it was really good. Like you knew that he was gonna eventually come back and be 
all there and everything. But initially, when he starts seeing the butterflies everywhere, when he's it having took a, these it took action a while, sequences, yeah. it really did. And then when he saw Whiskey, and he's like, "Nope, this guy's not on our seat, mm -hmm. on our side. He's on the wrong team or whatever." He shoots him immediately, and they're like, "No, you're crazy! Like, what are you doing? You knew, and I knew right away that that wasn't that he was he, he was, was back, yeah, and he was back, and that yeah. was really yeah. But I it was initially initially I was kind of like. They played around with that, yeah. I didn't know right away. I knew a little bit after that. Not right away when it happened, but like a, like a couple scenes after that. I was like, yeah. that's gonna come back. Well, they really played around with his mental state exactly. in that way. Exactly. So kind of so like trick us and be like, oh, what's real, yeah. what's not to him. And I thought the ski lodge scene was really cool. Like, I love that scene when they were in that lift and they're gonna go crash into like the old people. Oh, yes! They're really tired. That was really and funny. And then he takes out the parachute and it's like the American <laughs> The way flag. they portrayed American. Oh my god. <laughs> the way they portray America. It was really comical. Hilarious. Really comical. You have like tequila, whiskey, champagne. Tatum, tequila. Oh my god, Channing Tatum. He was wonderful. He was so good. I loved seeing him. Representing and America. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and his little like southern accent. Yeah. <laughs> I did really like Whiskey before he was evil, and before we knew he was evil, I did like that bar scene originally when you got to see how cool he was with the lasso. Oh, the yeah, lasso before was he went really bad. Cool. Yeah, that's they a cool really, weapon. they built him up, and they really showed the audience how strong he is before he really turned bad, and it's like, okay, now you know there's gonna be a big showdown between him and Exit Harry before you knew that. It took they them really a while to bring them. him down. Yeah, he was powerful. He was, him, yeah. yeah. He went after the big villain, Poppy. He went after. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was that was interesting. I loved at the end that Exit got married. He became yes. the prince. I didn't expect him to get married at the end of the movie. I know, because originally he was like, he's like, oh, oh, yeah, I don't know about being a prince with my job. <laughs> yeah, that was really funny. I like, though, that he became the prince, but at the same way, at the same time, it showed Channing Tatum at the end going into Kingsman. So, is he is Channing Tatum supposed to be taking his place in the next movie? I didn't take it like that until you mentioned that. I wasn't even I thinking that. I was just not. thinking of Channing Tatum joining them. and I hope that that's what it is. I yeah, hope because so, yeah. they're kind of... They're joined now. Figured like they, he was gonna help them on a mission or something. I hope that that's it. I and the, took and it. The, the main guy who like who ran um, the company. Yeah. Like, what's his What was his name? I don't remember his name. The main yeah, I know cowboy the guy. guy. Uh -huh. He um he had said like oh maybe you could like sh like get this guy in a tux like get yes, him in yeah. a tux. Yeah. So I think that's why I didn't take it as like him taking. I'm over hoping him. that that's what that is. I'm hoping that he yeah. was just joining them. But at the same time, I don't know because no, we're getting another one. So it has we he are. has to be the exit has to be the main. I hope so because he is the prince now. So it's going to be interesting to see how his dynamic is going to be with with them at the Kingsman and oh, also yeah. as a public figure as a prince. So it's kind of like his secret identity, though he can't let it. Yes, know. exactly. So, yeah, it's definitely going to be interesting. Yeah, I'm excited, and I guess we'll be seeing Channing Tatum again. And yes, I'm I want to see that. Halle Berry back too, because now that she took the name Whiskey, well, and she's going to be exactly. in the field. Exactly, she's going to be in the field. So yeah. we're going to see her fighting in the next. That's going to be next great. Movie, which yeah. is going to be really cool. Yeah, but overall, we absolutely love the movie. Yeah, obviously, what was your favorite was... part? I think my favorite part was the part with Elton John and the dog. <laughs> That was really I, great. I really loved the end fight scene. I thought the end fight oh, scene yeah, was really sure. cool. All the fight scenes are my favorite, yeah. honestly. I like the beginning so, fight scene, too. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah that just, one was the really well done. The fight scenes just were so visually awesome to watch. Like, um, the director did such a great amazing. job. I really, I loved it. It was a great movie. Let us know what your favorite parts were down in the comments yeah, below. Yeah, we would love to hear what your favorite parts were and what you thought of the movie overall. Yeah, and what do you think is going to happen in the next movie? I don't mm. know when it's coming out. Let us know if you guys know because I am like dying to see the next movie. Yeah. So if you enjoyed this review, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more movie reviews. Yeah, follow us on Twitter. We are at City of the Fields, and that's also our Snapchat. Yep. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.